Oh, I felt it really, really necessary to do this video. What's going on, you guys? Uh, so the social media embargo lifted today on um, Just the League, and we get some early reaction. <clears throat> Haven't heard really any bad reactions. It's just kind of like I heard some good things. Heard a couple things that maybe been wrong with the film. Uh, overall, like uh, uh, it's received pretty well. Uh, so overall, from like the the round just stuff, it'd be a pretty slightly above average film or average, you know. Uh, but I never have heard anything bad. But that's not necessarily my whole point to this video. My main point to this is probably like the 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 disease <laughs> of a rivalry that is uh between Marvel and DC fans. It is it is fucking like crazy. And you know it's the the odd part, I think there's always been like a Marvel versus DC type thing. Uh in like the fandom strictly because like, you know, you there's a certain comic you like a certain you know what I'm saying a certain style one one has over the other so I, I understand the, the arguments with like yo I'm, I'm DC and I, oh, I'm Marvel but I didn't know that bred so much hate though like that's the only thing I'm like it, it breeds like a lot of hate into the point now where it is it is fucking disgusting bro like it, it like, you can't even get you can't make a comment about anything you you can't say anything without starting a a fucking all out war between the two sides. And what's crazy is that I've I've heard I think even James Gunn came out and said like, "Yo, y'all have more in common than most people in the world. Why are y'all arguing? They're both superhero properties, basically. You have one just have a Marvel stamp, other has a DC stamp. They're both superhero properties. There might be superheroes you like more from one side than the other. But I think I don't think it's been as bad until the movies came out. And then Marvel pretty much like has that like cinematic universe like going and flowing like so smooth. I will give it to them. They're, they're flowing so smooth and like DC has like some rough stumbles. But that's only with DC's like cinematic universe though. <coughs> They never really, you didn't, you didn't get these problems when there was like the Dark Knight trilogy and they were like standalone film. I think now that they're like, there's like a, both two like compete, com, like world, comic book worlds now, I guess I'd say. There's like so many people going, like Justice League comes out next week, but like every, and now you see so many posts of like Marvel fanboys, uh, wait till Infinity War. There was one with like cough, wait till Infinity War. Like, it, it's like stupid rebuttals, and what's crazy is people don't understand that I know the DC fanboys are trying to make fun of the Marvel people, Marvel fans, because they're saying, "Oh, you like, I, I'm saying something, and you just automatically assume it's uh, uh, Infinity War is gonna be awesome." But they don't realize that the DC fans are the ones making this post. The post, like Mar a Marvel fan. Wouldn't make a post talking about wait till Infinity War. That's stupid. So it's kind of like uh, you, 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 I, I honestly don't get the point of the whole conflict. It's, this is why I, I don't get involved in the whole Marvel versus DC thing. If you ask me what I like more, I'm gonna say DC because I grew up watching DC stuff more. Who films I feel are better? I'm, I would probably say Marvel. Uh, do I? I don't want all Marvel films though because. To me, I get kind of get tired of the tone of the films and everything being the same. That's why I like, for me, I like the Fox having a part of it. Now, as far as uh, Fantastic Four, you can get that shit out of here. Like, you, you take that over to Marvel. I feel like it would thrive in Marvel. As far as X-Men, I like it being with Fox because I don't want to feel the same type of thing with every fucking film like in, in, like in Marvel Cinematic Universe. Every film to me is kind of, fit, fit, well, I kind of, every film feels the same to me. That's just my opinion. Even though I love those films, they just kind of feel the same. I, I need something different. That's why I like DC's search style because they have like a darker tone, which I'm more accustomed to. Even though some of them hadn't just 
play it out as, as well as I wanted to, but I still like the darker tone. If you even look at like the X Men films, not just talking about Deadpool and Logan, they have like a different feel. But here's my main thing, and this this is probably why I love the hood so much. If I'm just being honest, <laughs> like growing up in the hood, they didn't give a fuck. Marvel, DC, it, it, it was all comic book movies to them. They didn't have like these wars of like, hey, you going to see a Marvel film or Marvel's doing this, DC's doing it. so terrible. It didn't, no, it's just with all, they, they put it all under one roof. And I guess that's why, I don't know, I just, I guess that might be the hood mentality. Just be like, you know what, I don't give a that. And it's crazy because it's in the hood and like niggas, niggas really not paying attention to all that bullshit. They just like, yo, I'm going to watch this superhero movie with Thor, I'm going to watch this superhero movie with Batman, and I'm getting my partake on this night. It's not the DC or Marvel brand I'm going to look at. It's just, you know, and it, and the part I think that fucks up everything is because if we can't have a simple debate of back and forth about Marvel and DC, how are we able to talk about more serious matters? If I can't talk, if I can't have a simple conversation with somebody with that shit going overboard about Marvel and DC, I would never be able to talk, I can't talk to you about more serious shit like police brutality or racism. Because I know if we can't talk about something as simple as this, there's no chance we're going to be able to talk about something that really, really matters. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. I don't understand right, the, the whole beef, though. I really don't. Of course, you, if you like Marvel movies, fine. What's the point of sh what? What is shit? No DC movies gonna get for you. If you like DC movies, what is talking about Marvel jokes in a movies gonna do for you? Everybody wanna laugh. Like that's, that's people's biggest. Uh, it's like I said, I'm 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 kind of I'm in between. I don't give a damn. I'm watching both of them. But <sighs> they DC fans talk about Marvel's humor. Marvel's fans talk about the darkness. If you, why not have? You can't like something that's dark and you can't like something that's funny. It, it's stupid. Y'all be tripping. I just want to talk about that. I want to honestly just know other people's thoughts on it and how does it make sense to them. Like, what's the purpose of it? As a matter of fact, that's probably my question. What's the purpose and what do you get out of it? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm really interested to see what y'all got to say about this.